Hello crypto fan, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today we will discuss how to view NFTs in your MetaMask wallet. Now you can install MetaMask either as an extension on your browser or as a mobile app. In this video we will see how to add NFTs to your MetaMask wallet on both mobile as well as web. So let's start with web first. So first click on this MetaMask icon and click on these three dots and click on expand view so that you can see this in a full screen mode. Now we would want to click on import tokens and then we need to add here the token contract address. Now let me show you how to get it. First go to OpenSea and in your profile look at the NFTs that you own. So this NFT is owned by me and scroll down. On the bottom left you will see a details heading. Just click on this drop down and you can see this field contract address. So click on this link and from here copy this contract address. Now go back to MetaMask and paste it here. Now you can see that MetaMask has fetched the token symbol and already pre-populated this field. Now this token decimal field is zero for NFTs and basically this field is usually meant for other ERC20 tokens. If you take a look at my wallet, you can see I have Matic in fractions. I have around 0.7943 Matic. Now this cannot be the case with NFTs. You usually cannot partition them. So you can't have them in fractions. Let me show this to you by an example. If I add two here and try to add this custom token, you can see it shows me my balance as 0.01 RC, which is not the case. I hold this one full NFT. So I add zero in the token decimal and I try to add the custom token and I import this token. And now you can see on my wallet under assets tab, I have this NFT listed along with other tokens. Now usually your NFTs are created using ERC 721 token standard and there is actually no mention of the decimal field over there. So that means you have to add it zero whenever you are adding any ERC721 token standard. Now let me go back to my NFT and show you what token standard it is following. It is following ERC721. Now it is possible for NFTs to follow an another standard known as ERC1155. And let me show you by going into my profile. Now you can see this other NFTs that I have they are all in ERC1155 token standard. See ERC1155. Now if I try to add this NFT into my MetaMask wallet, my MetaMask wallet will not be able to fetch how many of that NFT I have because let me show you the reason. MetaMask does currently support storing ERC1155 tokens but does not have the ability to send them or see them in app or extension yet. So basically you cannot manage any ERC1155 token. So if you even if you try to add it in this extension, you will not be able to see how many of that NFT you hold basically. Right now there is no support to manage it. Now let's come back to our ERC721 token standard and let's see this ERC721 NFT. Now you can see that this button is disabled over here. So that means from the extension you cannot send this NFT to anybody else. But you can do this from the MetaMask mobile app. And I'll just show you in just a bit when we discuss about MetaMask mobile. There I can show you how to send NFT on MetaMask mobile. So you can also see this article by MetaMask. I'll also link this article into the description. So be sure to check it out. Sending and receiving NFTs is easy in MetaMask mobile. The feature is still on its way in MetaMask extension. So that feature is not here for sending and that's why when you go to your NFT, the sending button is disabled. Let's now discuss how to add your NFTs in MetaMask mobile. Now, as you can see on the screen, I am on MetaMask mobile app and as you can observe, I am on Polygon mainnet because my NFTs are on Polygon. But it is possible that your NFTs could be on Ethereum main network and you can select from the list of networks Ethereum main network. Now the steps are completely similar irrespective of whether you are on Ethereum main network or you are on Polygon network. 
Now I am selecting Polygon mainnet from the list of networks. Now I am clicking on NFTs tab. Now I am clicking on import NFTs. Now here you have to paste the contract address. So I already showed you how to see a contract address. You can go to OpenSea in your profile. You can go to the NFT and on the left bottom side, you will see a details heading. There you can find the contract address as well as the next field ID. The token ID also you can find under the same details header. So add both the things here. Now click on import. Now as you can see my NFT is fetched and showing under NFT step. Now you can click on the NFT to see the details of the NFT. You can see the description, the token standard and the asset contract. Now if you want to send this NFT you have to click on send button and here you can add the address where you want to send this NFT. And this way you can also send the NFT from your Metamask mobile app. So that is it for this video folks, hope you understood how to view your NFTs inside your Metamask mobile app as well as Metamask web extension. And if you like the video, please give the video a like and please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.